Hey guys, it's Taylor here from Adreno Spearfishing. Today we're going to be talking about how to fit uh, some fin blades into your foot pockets. So what you're going to need for this episode today is uh, the foot pocket that you've chosen, the set of blades that you've also chosen, the uh, fixing kit that's relevant to your foot pockets, a drill, and some drill bits. So today we're going to be using Mara's razor foot pockets along with uh, some dive R carbons. Uh, these guys fit uh, perfectly together. They've got the T-channel on the side of the blades which fit perfectly into the rails uh, of the Mara's razors. So what I usually start off with is, you don't really need to, but uh, just in case you can always give it a bit of spray of silicon spray into your pocket. Always, usually the heel's the hardest bit to get in. Now, you want to grab this side. So you want your blade, when it's put together, it's going to be like this. So we've got to make sure it is up the right way when you put it into the blade. So you go ahead and you just start sliding it into the cracks here. And you just want to watch it the whole way and make sure it's going in correctly and not cutting the foot pocket. So just slowly, until you can see here, these guys fit pretty perfectly. So you'll see that the toe of the foot pocket fits just about on that uh, angle there. And we don't want to go too much further than that, otherwise if we're starting to be drilling closer to that angle, it's uh, going to form a weak point there. Now with these guys, to actually open, you'll see here that uh, it's quite a narrow opening into the tendon of the foot pocket. So actually to open this up and allow us to get it onto the fin edges, uh, you actually bend it back on itself and pull it and you'll see that it opens it up. And then we're just going to slowly push it on. Now have a look at both sides and you can see there it's come on pretty close. If you haven't put it on correctly, you can pretty much look down the blade and you'll see that the tendon will actually you know, wiggle a little bit. That means it's not on correctly. So you can just give it a bit of a tap if you need to, to get it on. Otherwise, just tear it back off again and start again. But always bending back that tendon to open up the rail. So one thing that you'll find with uh, your Mares razors on your dive bars is that the clips that come with it in the fixing kit typically uh, won't fit around there, uh, around where they're meant to. What I usually do with that is I'll actually cut the tendon off just below that and put a dab of Loctite 420 just on the edge just to hold that edge on. Otherwise, if you keep putting those plastic pieces on, you'll just kick them off 99% of the time. So the next step is just going to be fitting your fixing kits to the fin. So what you want to do is, is we're going to drill through your blade. And you want to make sure you have a really sharp drill bit. And you want to be making sure the drill bit's doing all the work, not uh, pushing the drill bit through the blade. Otherwise, you can crack the blades. You won't see that with dive R often, but other fra more fragile blades definitely happen a lot. So in your fixing kit, you'll get two of the inserts that go into your foot pockets. Now, they're pretty straightforward. These guys fit straight on the toe. You'll see exactly where they go. So just there. And this guy is like the washer on the back end. So that'll be fitting there once we uh, drill some holes. So what I start off doing is you always, you've got here two holes, and that's where we're going to be drilling through. Now, a good rule of thumb is like, they come with uh, self-tapping screws, but what we want to be doing is drilling a hole just a fraction bigger than it so that the screws aren't biting on the blade. Uh, otherwise, you can crack the blade there too if you do it up too tight. So an easy way to find out what drill bit you're going to use is just get the screw out of your fixing kit, get the drill bit, and put them side by side, and you want to be just bigger than the threads. Now, as I said earlier, we want to be making sure that the drill bit's doing all the work and that you're not pushing it through. Also, to make sure that we're drilling on the right angle, uh, a really good thing to do that I find is just pull the blade to the edge, to that angle, and we want to be drilling into it rather than down. Uh, otherwise, the hole will be on a weird angle and sometimes you won't get as good a uh, grip through it. Make sure you've got your drill set to the highest revs, so it's uh, spinning as quick as possible. Try and get it right in the middle 
of the hull. Same thing on the other side. Now you'll see on this side we've got two clean drilled holes. So there's no cracks on there so, and it's quite far back from that angle. So we're pretty well on the money there. Now I always insert the toe piece which goes on top, goes into that hole, flip it over and you can put your fixing kit like that and then we're just going to be running the uh, self tappers in, do them up just finger tight so they're in there. Now what I also like to do, you can use a uh, drill to tighten up your screws. Um, if you're using a drill make sure you do it nice and slow. If you tighten it up too much, uh, you can crack the blade, which you know, is not ideal. So you can turn it back to its slowest revs now and just do them slowly but surely. So yeah, as I said, you just want to make sure that they're nice and firm. So there you have it guys, that's how you fit your dive bars into your Mares pockets. Make sure you tune in and subscribe to our YouTube channel to make sure you don't miss out on any good how-tos coming up.